I found some interesting old black and white photos and as an experiment I decided to try draw them in color. I don't know these people, but I wonder if it would be nice for them to know that their old days are remembered after so many years. I myself have never gone to ice fishing, probably because most people go there not for fish but to relax and have fun, and I cannot have fun when I freeze to death, and though I like normal fishing. I remember, when I was a little boy I spent my summer in a village deep in the woods. To entertain myself we went fishing with another boy in the early morning. We took with us sandwiches which we cooked in the evening, fishing rods, spray from mosquitoes, and left the house when it was still completely dark outside and everyone around was sleeping. Next was a long road. We walked crossing small rivers across shaky bridges from fallen trees. We walked past another village, which was abandoned because it was inconvenient to drive cars to it. Then turned into a cedar forest. The aroma was so amazing that I wanted to jump for joy. By this time it was beginning to dawn. Finally you go to the edge of a cliff, under which flows a river rich in fish. You need to carefully go down and wait to the other side, carrying your stuff over the head. Stepping bare feet on the slimy bottom, you feel how small fish rapidly rushing along the stream crushes into your body. Somewhere in the distance you hear a loud splash, produced by a stroke of a big pike's tail. The hairs on your arms stand on end, from a sense of something mysteriously powerful. I didn't know any special methods of catching or tricks, and did not feel excitement for catching. Fishing was just an excuse to spend the day alone with nature. But sometimes, there was a lucky day, and the end of a fishing rod was curving in a sharp arc under the weight of a big fish. I liked this spirited and wild resistance. Then you came home in the evening, tired, but proud of yourself, already feeling in mind the smell of large pieces of fried fish and boiled potatoes with fresh green onions, which aroused appetite. When you eat fish that you got yourself, it seems to you more delicious than any delicacies. As for the picture, in order to pick up the colors of skin, fur coats and snow and cloudy weather, I just googled them separately. Here for example how the cheeks of a man look like in a cold. First I applied a layer with large strokes to create illusion of a snowstorm. And then a thin layer to create the right shades and forms. Due to the small size of the canvas you cannot go into small details. One movement of the brush and you see the fur on the color. Other movement and the result is heaps of adherent snow on the cap. Draw such pictures quickly and fun. With their help you can practice mixing colors and working with multi-layer techniques. Good luck.